Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a lookup list that will be dynamic. So on the screen, I've got some examples of lookup lists using data validation. These lists are not dynamic. What do I mean by that? So first of all, in cell A3, I've got a lookup list there, which is going to allow me to select a code. And then this VLOOKUP is basically bringing that information in to an invoice example. So I can select a code. That's the last code there, which is this list here. So I've just selected this, but just click into a blank cell below. Well, that's already got it. And I'll come over here and do it. Um, data, validation. It says any value by default. Select list. And then you've got options to type a list or select a list. So I'll just select that list just to show you how this works. Everything's fine. There's the list. However, if I add AAA, for example, and there can be cups, £3, go up here, drop the list down, that has not picked it up. Over here, wherever I did that list, that also has not picked it up. So it's not dynamic. So just selecting a list, or even worse, typing a list, because you can actually type your own list. If I go and do that option, type a list, each time you would have to repoint the list. So if I went one, two, three, that'll be the list. One, two, three. If I want it to be four, I'd have to go back in there and add it. If I want AAA to be added to this list, I would need to go back into data validation and reselect it. However, if I change this table, which is just typed, and format it as a table, watch what happens now. So if I go across to back to home and select format as table, I'll just pick any one of these. I'll just go for a green one. It's picking up that I have headers. I do code description and cost. I'll click OK to that. So there we go. There's my, that was not a good color scheme. That's, um, I'll just put that back to black. There's my list. Now, if I go and select the list again for, for this one, um, just go back to data validation, data validation, and just select the list, this time picking up the AA. So I've now got exactly the same setup as before, but it will pick up the AA at the bottom there. Now also, if I go BBB and washer, two pound does that pick that up let's have a look drop the list down it does bbb it picks it up so this is now a, a dynamic lookup list it will grow as you add things to it now on this side in this cell this is a lookup list also but this is a named range so this is a named range from another sheet if i go into validation exercise this is where it's looking at courses now again, this will not grow. If I add something under there, it will not pick it up. If I just put 365 there for now, go back to that first sheet, 365 will not appear at the bottom. It doesn't appear at the bottom. Office is the last item in that list because that's a named list. So what you have to do on this option is exactly the same. Just format this as a table, highlight this as a table, Go back to home, format as table, pick your color scheme, make sure it's got headers, OK. And then you've got this now ready to go. So back to the validation sheet, change this one over from a named range. If we go back to data validation, so from a named range to that list. So I will pick up this list. So it's exactly the same at the moment. Just bring that back. OK. But if I go and add Office 365 on the bottom, 365, and then give it a price and, and whatever, come back to the validation sheet, that should have picked it up as well. So I should have that as an option at the bottom, which I do. So add in a table that is formatted as a table and then using that, that as part of your lookup, your validation list, makes it dynamic. 
Now you can also do that with other tables, other lists that you want to be dynamic. So what I've got is a file here called VStack. If I just go into that, I've just recently done a video on that, but if I delete this one and just show you how this works. So I've got three separate sheets with people on it. So I'll just change the color on this one, format as table to a different color, go for gray. But this is a table formatted as a table. Salesperson two is also formatted as a table and salesperson three is also formatted as a table. And if we go to table design, they're called table one, two and three. So I can just select table one, two and three. If we go back to this and do the formula again. So the formula is slightly different to this because I didn't use the formatted table option, but this is what's going to happen now. So if we go equals V stack, open that. I could actually just type table one, two and three, but I'll select it to see if it brings it in. So I'll go and grab the data for this one, just down to there. So it's not picking it up, so I'll go the other way. I want it to pick up the table name. There we go, pick, pick up the table, comma. Go on to the second sheet. I'll go from the bottom this time, seems to like that better. Table two, comma, and then onto the third one, which is gonna be table three. There we go. Press enter on that, and it should stack it in. Now that's the extra line that I've got on that first table. If I go um, and just add a record, if I just highlight this and just pull it down, pull it down two, just widen that off. So I've added two extra records there. If I come back in, so it's 28, 29. If I come back into this, it's done that 28, 29. It's automatically put it in there. So with this being a an array function, so the top one is where the formula is, so there's nothing in it. I can't delete any of these. This is just part of the array. It doesn't let me do it. If I want to delete it, I have to delete it up there. But I'm stacking table one, table two, and table three. And I could name those something else. Salesperson one, salesperson two, salesperson three, if I wanted to do. And basically, as the records are added on each of these sheets, this one, this summary sheet, will pick it up because they are formatted as tables. So from me not really liking formatted tables years ago when they came out i'm now totally sold by the functionality of them also if you do going to use um, power pivot or anything like that you have to have a formatted table when you add it to the data model it will expect it to be a formatted table or it will convert it if it is not so i just want to show you that how you can create a dynamic data validation list and how you can use formatted tables to make some functions such as VStack also dynamic. So hopefully this little video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.